So guys, with everything that has gone on throughout the past weeks, and now that we're in the final quarter of this year, this is where things get even more interesting. Not only is Tesla planning to announce three of their most highlighted products of this year, the Cybercab, Optimus, and Roadster 2.0, but they are also going to be unveiling the next generation vehicle, the Model Y standard, and upgrades to the Model 3, as well as V14 of full self-driving software. Starting off with the affordable Model Y standard variant, several sightings have been reported across different parts of the US over the past week, strongly suggesting its release is just around the corner. In an unusual move, Tesla invited a small group of influencers to Giga Texas for an undisclosed event, Adding more fuel to speculations spotted and shared by a user on X going by Ryan Mabel, what appears to be the first fully uncovered Model Y standard variant driving near the Giga Texas factory. Three high quality photos taken from different angles gives us a nearly complete look at the car. These three shots, we can see practically every exterior design change that the standard Model Y will ship with once it officially launches. From the front, the headlights are now separated as expected Instead of being joined together by a light bar, each headlight houses stand alone, giving the car a more traditional design compared to the sleek, connected look that Tesla recently leaned towards in the other models. The daytime running light is now significantly smaller than before. It sits tucked into the very corner of the inner headlight housing, almost as if it's been minimized to the bare essential, giving it a sharper, more focused appearance. The front lid itself stays in its usual position and hasn't been shifted or reshaped in any way, but the bumper, however, has been raised upwards and now includes an additional lip at the top edge, filling in the gap where the previous light bar used to run. The small adjustment changes the car's front end balance and makes it look slightly taller and less aggressive. A front bumper camera can also be seen clearly in the photos. This ensures the standard Model Y will be aligned with Tesla's latest design language and hardware setup, with every new vehicle now coming standard with the front-facing camera integrated seamlessly into the bumper. Looking lower down, there's in an entirely new grille and diffuser design. Unlike before, this section is left completely unpainted and carries a raw plastic look. It also appears to be designed as a removable panel, hinting at an easier servicing or potentially more cost-effective production. The wheels are another noticeable change. They look noticeably smaller compared to the usual Model Y setup, and according to recent code leaks, these are the new 18-inch Aperture wheels. They carry a bold, flat face design that has similarities to the Cybertruck wheel styling, adding a futuristic touch while keeping the efficiency much higher. The side profile overall looks very familiar, almost unchanged at first glance. However, one key detail that stands out, the rocker panel along with the lower edge of the car are no longer painted in the body color. Instead, they switched again to a simple black plastic finish, which helps cut production costs and makes the car feel slightly more protected against rock damage. Now, things look far more different when you move around to the rear of the car. This is where Tesla seems to have made the biggest change to the standard Model Y. The liftgate itself has been lengthened, now extends deeper into the rear bumper, blending into the unpainted plastic trim at the bottom, which gives the back a more vertical, squared off look compared to the original Model Y. The taillights have also received a major redesign. Tesla has completely eliminated the connecting light bar and reflective panel that used to sit across the taillight. On top of that, the rear Tesla lettering has been removed entirely. Instead of spelling out the brand name, Tesla is leaning towards a cleaner, minimalistic look with no logos or letterings anywhere in the back of the vehicle. Then for the taillights themselves, the brake LEDs are much shorter, cuts down to about half their previous length. Tesla's also removed the dedicated turn signal portion that used to sit just below the brake light, further streamlining the base design and cost cutting measures. Looking upwards in the same shot, the roof design is also different. Tesla has dropped the full glass roof option in favor of solid black panel. What's interesting though, is that the black panel has been styled to mimic the appearance of glass so at first glance, you might still think it's the traditional glass roof, but in fact, it isn't. But aside from all of these changes, everything else looks to be about the same, looking consistent with the regular Model Y. The proportion, including the length, width, and height, appears to remain identical. 
keeping the familiar crossover look that feels and made the Model Y one of Tesla's best-selling car around the world. Alright guys, so the standard Model Y, Model Y standard, so as they call it, whatever it comes out to being, this car is going to be the car that is made for everyone. It's practically going to come with all the barebone features, pretty much like the standard range rear-wheel drive Model 3 that was sold in Mexico for a period of time. This is going to be giving you the look and feel of a Tesla, but once you sit inside, you will notice the difference with the fabric, textile, material, and the overall comfort, there is going to be a noticeable change. The regular version at this point, just calling it the Model Y, is going to be getting the newer upgrades like the 16-inch QHD display, which we just talked about in the previous video. This is a massive upgrade, and it's also going to be getting some extra little touches that's going to make it feel that much more premium. And then the regular 15.4 inch with the larger bezels, that's going to come into this model here. And regardless, still going to get the same Model Y experience, same length, width, height. Everything is going to make this car truly affordable and truly perfect. Now, as we know, lots of things are planned and packed for this week, but things have already been moving into the latest vehicles. The Model 3 has just received some of the best upgrades around. This is exactly what's going to take it all up to another level. Tesla has officially launched a refresh Model 3 lineup across Europe and other regions, bringing a solid round of upgrades to range, performance, and overall design. This upgrade introduces several new hardware changes across all trims and includes the latest LG 5M battery pack, boosting both efficiency, horsepower, particularly for the performance variant. The biggest change comes from beneath the car. Tesla has integrated the LG new 82 kilowatt what our battery pack into the Model 3, which improves energy density and overall efficiency. These new cells were first rolled out in China earlier this year, and now they're making its way into other models and other markets. In addition, Tesla's official X account across Asia shared the update last night, showcasing several hardware improvements, including the long-awaited return of the turn signal stock, the addition of a new front bumper camera, and subtle exterior design changes like blacked out badges and logos for cleaner, stealthier look. Now even better than all that, Tesla is now offering a retrofit option for owners who wanted to bring back the traditional turn stock. The package costs roughly 775 US dollars, compatible with the Model 3 vehicles produced in 2023, 2024, and 2025 that originally came without it. For the highlight, however, the Model 3 performance variant in these regions also benefit from the new LG 5M packs, giving it a noticeable power bump. Official specs list 500 horsepower and a 0 to 60 in just 2.9 seconds, finally putting it on par with the Model 3 performance currently built and sold in the US. Now, in other news, Tesla is gearing up to launch FSD version 14 by tomorrow, a major step forward that brings improvements across nearly every area of driving, preparing it for the eventual release of unsupervised self-driving. Elon has confirmed that the rollout is scheduled for Monday, October 6th, adding that the extra time before release allows Tesla's AI team to sneak in a few new features while also addressing some lingering bugs in the previous build. Interestingly, the RoboTaxi UI was recently refreshed, potentially offering an early preview of some of the visual and a behavioral changes we'll likely see also in version 14. Over the weekend, the Kilowatts on X shared a few clips from his recent RoboTaxi ride, which appears to show fresh updates being tested ahead of the official release. Among the most notable improvements, the vehicle can now perfectly handle emergency vehicles using both visual and audio recognition, it also introduces the first official visual branding for Tesla's RoboTaxi network. In the San Francisco Bay Area, RoboTaxi vehicles now appear to be running on a newer internal build. One key visual difference is the traditional blue driving path in the FSC visualization has been swapped for a golden tentacle, clearly distinguishing between supervised from unsupervised operation. Added to this, when the RoboTaxi is parked or stopped, a golden glow also appears beneath the vehicle extending even to the expanded view in the visualization, giving it a more distinctive look as well as signaling to passengers that this is indeed of the RoboTaxi network. Additionally, it seems like Tesla has now started to begin rolling out the software to a select group of early testers. Just yesterday, a user next going by Texas Tesla shared an image of his personal car running an early build of FSD 14 
That also includes the Golden Path Planner, which now indicates that both our own cars and RoboTaxi will be running on a similar FSD version 14 build. And lastly, in a completely unexpected move, Tesla dropped a mysterious trailer at around 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, showing what appears to be something entirely new and unlike anything we've seen before. The short clip features what looks to be a spinning propeller or turbine, sparking speculations that Tesla might be teasing a brand new product. Now, what's even crazier about this is that some even think that this could tie back to one of Elon's older posts about developing an electric leaf blower by Tesla. However, on closer inspection, it strongly resembles a new wheel design which has led many to believe that this could be linked to the upcoming reveal. Many are pointing towards the long-awaited Roadster 2.0, while others think that this might be related to the new Model Y standard, which is rumored to launch with two wheel options, an 18-inch base setup, which we've been seeing with all the latest sightings, and then a new 19-inch premium design possibly shown in this teaser. The video then ends with the date October 7th, which lines up almost perfectly with what's being expected to be announced this week, adding more fuel to the speculations, so all of this could really be on the new Roadster as well as the new Model Y. So yeah, there we have it guys. This week is jammed packed full of exciting releases. The Model 3 just got its major first upgrade ever since it was first announced, and then the Model Y standard is about to roll out any moment now. However, out of all the things, I would say that the most highly anticipated one is going to be V14. That is going to be the one that changes everything. This is going to be the software that really drives us towards unsupervised full self-driving. When you break it down here, the jump from V12 to V13 was just mind-blowingly incredible. That one brought us to feel as smooth as possible and very human-like. But now V13 moving to V14, this is going to be the thing that makes all the difference. This is the software that is going to be driving RoboTaxi and all of our vehicles. Elon even went as far as saying that this is going to make it feel extremely real, just like it's sentient. So I would say that this one is packed full of upgrades, full of changes and it's going to be the 10x parameter that we've all been hearing about. All of this is just truly incredible, and we are just about 24 to 48 hours away, so hold on to your seats, make sure you have some days off at work, and get ready to have your minds blown. I will keep things simple here, I will continue to keep an eye out for everything that comes out, and update you as quickly as possible as usual, so I would love it if you stick around, hit that subscribe and the bell notification if you haven't already done so, and follow me on X at HeyJohnny, you will see things over there you wouldn't be able to see over here. And you can chat with me as naturally as possible. I'll respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, this is John. Once again, peace out.